What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So last few episodes, we've been working on magic stuff. We're going to continue on that today. I kind of want to catch up in the quest book before we get really far. And then we have to go back and be like, why even bother with any of this stuff, right? Um, so anyway, off camera here, I've been playing around with our Celestial Collector Crystals. Yeah, uh, we set up the ritual last episode where we can speed things up using the Hourglass Ritual from the Hourglass Constellation Horologium or however you pronounce it. Um, so yeah, I was figuring or I was thinking that we were able to get this thing to go full speed during the daytime and I don't think that's the case. You can kind of see there's a faint outline of the constellation kind of showing here but it's not until that it's nighttime that you get like the glowy ring around it and this thing starts going full speed yeah i was kind of thinking that because we we're taking the crystals and we're putting it through the lenses and then shining it over here it was losing some of the oomph on that so i did try raising up this ritual and try having these crystals go directly onto it try two of them it still wasn't enough so yeah i've been playing around with this and i discovered some things so first thing I discovered, uh, this iridescent halter, I thought we needed four of these collector crystals in order to fully power it. That is not true. Uh, it looks like you need one of them, only one. Yeah. So what I did is I have one crystal going over into a prism and then we're splitting this. One's going over to this lens and one is going over to the altar. Now that for the most part, gets us full speed on the altar, even though we're only using like half of one of these crystals. But like at noon, I think the uh, power goes down to about right here. So I needed a second one. So yeah, we're taking both of these crystals, we're splitting it. Uh, half of that's going into the altar. The other half is going into this lens, which is going over into our ritual pedestal over here, right? And then these two are fully going into this, uh, the ritual thing through these lenses here. Uh, so we kind of like did a little bit of work around with it, but yeah, we're fully powering the altar and the rest of the starlight that we're collecting is going over into this ritual. But even with all of that, it's still not enough to get this thing going full speed. So if we go nighttime, we can see like the little aura ring appears around it and then things start really speeding up. But I think that I did notice though is when it is uh, nighttime and we are going full speed, this thing really, really gets moving. So yeah, let's take a look. So at nighttime, you can fully see the constellation appear there and we get the, the ring. And I think you get more particles floating up from the crystal into this thing. Uh, but other than that, there's not a lot that's changed. But what is pretty cool, if we come over here and look at what it's doing, now that we've made some of these changes, we see all these machines are all sparkly, but if we grab like some cobblestone and we throw it into our furnace here, like it just chews through it like crazy. In fact, I think I, I saw it going faster. Maybe it's because it's closer to midnight when that happened. But, like, it'll just do tens of them at a time. You don't even see it chewing through all of them. Like, it goes pretty quick. So, uh, I would say I'm pretty happy with the speedy up portion of this ritual. It seems like we can only get it going, like, really fast during midnight or nighttime anyway. But I think that's going to be good enough. If we have any process that we need to, like, really quicken, that's going to help us out a significant amount. Okay. So things that I wanted to work on today, I was kind of looking at the blood magic section. We have quite a few of these quests completed. I did want to take care of some of these things. The seer sigil, I wasn't sure what this thing does. Apparently it's an upgraded version of the divination sigil. I'm not sure if that's new or if that's always been in blood magic. I don't recall ever making this thing, but that is one of our quests. So let's take a look at this guy. So in order to make it, we need sight reagent plus a reinforced slate in order to make this thing. Well, I already pre-made the reinforced slate, but to make the sight reagent, we need a divination sigil, two glass, and a glowstone. Uh, so glass, two glass, and a glowstone. I think our sigil is over at our altar, if I remember correctly, in this chest. Yes, it is. Awesome. All right, so let's put that all into this guy here. That, 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 and this guy, and then we need one of these. So I went and I filled up our Tartaric Gems all the way full, both of them. I went to the Nether and I was killing Blaze. I tried killing him here in the Overworld. I was just kind of going back and forth trying to figure out the best way of doing it. Uh, we needed a bunch of that Demon Will through the Demon Crucible, put the gems in there to put it into the aura of the chunk to grow these crystals. Yep, so I made a few of these crystals. We let them grow all the way full. 
A thing I did notice, you can use the time in a bottle on the crystals to make them grow faster. Yeah, so that's something to note. So I was able to quickly grow these crystals that way. So anyway, um, we now have the site reagent. I guess I can put that in my inventory. And then we needed a reinforced slate, I believe. Yes, okay. So we need the... Oh, the ash thing, arcane ashes. All right, so arcane ashes here. Then we put in the reagent. I did that wrong. Let me break this thing. Uh, did I do that wrong? No, I think that actually should be right. Normally when I put something in there, it changes this, but it didn't change it. So let's put in this. Aha, okay. I guess it didn't change it when I put the first item in. Almost every other one of those, it looked like it did. So I thought I had put them in, in the wrong order. That is not the case. Okay, so a seer's a sigil, when seeing all is not enough. So this is supposed to give you extra information. Yeah, so it tells you the progress, the charge, how much essence, and the total capacity. Uh, looks like it gives us information in the upper left-hand corner as well. Um, I don't know what the inactive, I guess that means if it's doing something or not. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure what the bucket with the down arrow in five means, <laughs> but it does give us a whole lot more information. So that's kind of cool. Upgraded version of the divination sigil. I like it. So that's another quest complete. Uh, anything else over here? We couldn't do this, I don't think. Uh, Archmage. Let's take a look real quick. Could we do that? Oh, right, right, right. We need to get into Batania. Yeah, we can't do that just yet. Um... So the greater Tartaric Gem, yeah, let's take a look at those. Tartaric Gem. I did want to upgrade to the top tier of these things. So in order to do that, we needed at least a common Tartaric Gem in there. Uh, we need 1,000 will in it. It takes 100 of will. And uh, the common ones goes up to 1,024, if I remember correctly. So we needed a Demon Well Crystal, Weak Blood Shard, Demon Slate, and then a common gem. So... Demon Slate. Oh, yeah, yeah. We already have that on us. Um, the Weak Blood Shard and the Crystal. Weak Blood Shard. We're going to upgrade both of these. And then we need the Crystals. Whoops. Went to press 1. I hit F1. So I don't remember if you can fortune these, how that works. Oh, you get seven of them. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. So I didn't need to grow as many of these <laughs> uh, as we did here, but that's fine. How much do I have on this one? It did not use any of the will, I guess, when we created that last thing. That's good. All right, so Slate, Weak Blood Shard, Crystal, and then we need this. Hopefully, it retains the will in it when it upgrades. I think it does, but I'm not entirely sure. It does not. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, in order for me to make another one of these, I got to go. Actually, no, I don't. No, 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 no. I can take the stuff out of this one and put it into this one by right-clicking, I think is how that works. So this one's got 1,024. This one's empty. So now we can upgrade it. So we put this one here with the will. That guy, this guy, one of those, and one of these. Yeah, so now we can upgrade that to the next level. Sweet. Okay, so now we have two greater Tartaric gems. Very, very cool. So to upgrade them to the next tier, the Grand Tartaric Gem, uh, we just need to put them with the Nether Star. Yeah. So, oh, actually, how much will does it cost to do that? So we need 4,000 minimum, and it costs 500. Goodness. All right. Well, Star, we can craft up two stars. We set that up a while ago. It just spawns and withers for us and, st and kills them off. Yep, that's really cool. Uh, I guess I need to go and farm up 5,000 will. Well, I guess 4,000 more will. Oh, okay. Well, it is nighttime. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. We'll be right back, guys. So I think I tried something like this before in a previous playthrough, but instead of using a bow, I was using like an unbreakable shuriken. But if you hold your sentient sword in your main hand, put your bow or shuriken in the off hand, you can just kind of go around and snipe mobs and still claim your will. So we're at 39.72 on this one. We come over here and we do this. We are now at 4,009, which is what we need to upgrade our other gem to the Grand Tartaric Gem. I think we need 4,000 will to do it. Yeah, so I upgraded the first one and then 
We now need to upgrade this guy. Yeah, there we go. So our Greater Tartaric Gym plus another star is going to upgrade. And now we have two Grand Tartaric Gems. Awesome. So the next step would be to fill these all the way up. But yeah, it takes a little bit of time for us to do it the way that I have been doing it. We could set up spawners and stuff to like bring mobs down to one hit and then use like sweeping edge or something and like kill them all with one swoop and just wait over and over again. Yeah, either way it kind of works. Like I'm I'm not opposed to going around manually farming like I was doing. It doesn't take that long, maybe 10, 15 minutes or something. Now, if we had to do this a lot, like if I'm gonna need full Grand Tartaric gems every 30 to 45 minutes, yeah, we'll set up some kind of a spawner to do this and make it a lot easier on us. But pretty much what I wanted to do was to upgrade our gems to the top tier and complete these quests, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so a Dagger of Sacrifice, I think this is... Dagger Sacrifice can be used to sacrifice mobs near your blood altar. The amount of blood you get depends on the mob. Yes. So this was a dagger we used to use back in the day uh, before they added the incense altar and all the self-sacrifice bonuses like we have. Uh, to like kill either witches or I think villagers also worked. Um, but yeah, we don't, well, at least I don't really do that anymore. I feel like the incense altar plus having something that automatically fills up your hunger definitely makes that a lot better. It's not automatic, but it, in my opinion, it's better. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead. Uh, we want to make the dagger of sacrifice. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. So that is a thomium sword. On a tier two so we've taken a little bit of time extra uh to get around to this one but it's fine so i think oh we don't have thomium okay so thomium i'm trying to remember how i did this just a little bit ago i think hmm i think i was looking up shovel and i think i did this one the bound shovel because it has 20 instrumentum if i remember correctly that's what you need for thomium right let me take a look recipe Crucible. No, Precantatio. Maybe it wasn't the shovel. Maybe it was the sword. One of these, I thought. Oh, maybe I was making something else with the instrumentum. I don't remember. Anyway, we need Precantatio. Oh, that's right. That comes from the uh, Thomium. Thom craft this stuff to sell us Mundus. Aha. That's what we need. Yeah, okay. Whoops. Uh, so we'll do like... Yeah, let's do four of those. And then we need four uh, iron ingots. And then we're going to want to clean up all the extra stuff in there. So we want the quartz shards. Okay. And it is nighttime, so I am going to go ahead... Oh, actually, we should be okay, I think. Maybe no mobs will spawn over here. A creeper and a spider. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, so we'll just drop all four of those in there. We'll drop that in there, and nothing happens. Why not? Uh, what? The recipe for this show. Oh, I didn't put the earth in there. Oops. Okay, so dirt. Actually, probably what I should do at this point. Let's throw the quartz in there and try and clean up this mess. Yeah, I forgot to put in the dirt. Oops. Uh, where'd those go? Right there. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll try and clean that up as much as possible. I need some more quartz shards. Okay, spider, calm down. Calm down. Is that... Oh, that does have water in there. It just doesn't look like it does. Okay, so now we're a little bit better. So, Salus Mundus... We'll grab four of those guys. Four dirt. Oh, I should have grabbed the iron. One, two, three, four. And we'll drop that in there. There we go. Now we got five thomium. So we got a little bit of stuff to clean up once again. And we should be mostly okay. We'll just let that go. All right. So now that we have the thomium, we should be able to make the sword. And then we have to put that onto the blood altar. Okay, so that's doing its thing. I like the fact that we can see the progress. That seer sigil, that's so nice that it'll do that for us. Okay, 
So now we have that guy, and that won't be extracted because they don't have that on the white list. But now we have the Dagger of Sacrifice. Cool. I don't think we're actually going to be using that. Why are these things glowing? That was weird. It's like the whole boxes was glowing until I selected them, and now they're not. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be using that at all, though. So what else do we have in here? Weak Activation, Ritual Diviner. Ooh, the Ritual Diviner. I remember this is a little bit more complicated of a recipe. So in order to make this guy, we have to make these elemental inscription tools. And to get those, you have to put like obsidian on the altar, uh, magma cream for the red one, gas tier for the air one, and lapis for the water one. So we should have all of those things. I got plenty of gas tiers. Yeah. Let me go ahead and craft those things up real quick, and then we will make our ritual diviner. All right, so we processed all these different items through the blood altar. Here's our ritual diviner. Cool. So we have that made. Is that going to give us a quest complete? It does. Now, the, um, what are these called? The inscription tools. These things did not shift click into the recipe, so you did have to place them in there manually. And it looks like they all get used up. Get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory here. Don't need any of that stuff anymore. Okay, so the ritual diviner, we have that, and we got the quest complete. So the next one was the Ritual Diviner Dusk. Let's take a look at that one. So the Dusk one requires the Elemental Inscription Tool Dusk and two Demonic Slates. Oh, okay. Well, we need Demonic Slates. So to do that, we need two blocks of coal. That should be easy enough. We'll just throw those guys in there. Oh, that's right. I can't put them in there unless I pipe them in. Um... Oh, I was going to use the, ah, I was going to use a time in a bottle, but I guess that recipe goes a little bit faster than I was thinking it was going to go. So yeah, it looks like we are just about done and there we go. Awesome. So now that that's done, we need that demonic slate. So again, we come over here to our thingy. Actually, before we come over here, let me fill the altar all the way up. Okay. So now we come over here to our thingy. We can do this. That's a reinforced slate. So we want a demonic slate. And we'll just add that over here to our whitelist. And then I'm going to need to get myself to uh, Living Rock, because that's what we use in this mod pack, like so. All right, we just got to wait for that to process. I do believe that'll use pretty much all, if not all, of the LP in the altar. But I think we have enough in there without me having to fill it up per demonic slate. Well, it's going to take a minute. Let me wait for this to happen. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so that's all done. Now we can do the Ritual Diviner Dusk. Awesome. So there we go. That's all done. Quest complete. Yet another one. So I was kind of going through the quest book here, looking at all of our unclaimed rewards. Uh, oh, I didn't click this one either. Uh, we got a lot of chests to claim at this point. So let's go to Blood Magic. This one, we'll choose that guy. And I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need like a chest or two. Two. Actually, let's do a small storage crate. Yeah, let's just do a small storage crate. We'll dump all of our stuff that's in our person into here. And let's try and click the uh, claim all button. Yeah, that should be a lot of chests here. Okay. So I think that gets it from all the different pages and stuff. Let me just double check. So there was one of Batania. No, it didn't claim these. So we still got more. Okay. Uh, let's... Put some of those away. Um, I went through and I clicked all of these, but I don't remember where they all are, so we'll claim that one. Thomcraft, we had this Thaumium to claim. Oh, boy. Still haven't touched Mystical Agriculture. We will at some point and claim that one. I didn't make the Enchanter. We talked about that before. These three. I think that might be all of them. Nope. <laughs> Still one more. All right. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay. So lots and lots and lots of loot chests. Let's pop these open. So nickel ore, uh, black or lotus, 16 of them. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Crafting units. Can we turn on auto refill? It is on, so they're just not auto refilling. Fire mills, not useful, really. Reactor casing, 24 of them. That would have been cool if we got those earlier. Speed upgrades, I got eight of those. Uh, mob imprisonment tool, but there's nothing in it. So... I believe we can make those all day long, so that's not really a big deal. Okay, so we got auxiliary reception coils. 
We got a sleep charm. So this makes it, I do believe that when you sleep with the sleep charm on, it's like an instant sleep. So if we have that on our person, ball, I don't know if it has to be in a bubble slot, but yeah, if we were just to sleep now with our sleeping bag, it should just be an instant. Where is our sleeping bag? What happened to it? I must have put it in here at some point, probably when I was farming mobs. Yeah, like instantly makes it daytime. <laughs> so sleep charm's kind of cool. Um, what else we got here? We got the Oscar gloss block. We've gotten that once before a long time ago. Liquid fuel tank, oak bookshelves. Okay. Resonating gem. I mean, we can make those all day long now. Fish sandwich. I Speaking of fish sandwich, it is kind of odd that we haven't gotten a lot of food ones. We've been getting a lot of food ones before, but not today. Apparently 49 launch pads. That might be useful. Uh, pineapple ham and factory block. All right, let's put all of our stuff away here. We still got more of these to go through. So, whoop, let's pop them. So we get ourselves a flux infused battle wrench. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, crystal growth accelerators, five of them. An inventory upgrade. We've already done that before. Bone blocks. We get ourselves an iron casing. Okay, that would be good for earlier games. Soul beads. I don't remember what these are used for. You can make soul powder out of them, which does not have a use, apparently. So I'm not sure what that's for. Anyway, uh, boron coin. Can we do anything with those? We can use them for power, apparently. Okay. Uh, cloud. What is that? That's from chisel. Chisel block clouds. Hardened casings. I mean, these are all fine. Railgun. Advancement made fortunes legacy. Uh, immersive engineering. Yeah, this might be okay, but we don't need it. <laughs> uh, speed upgrades. We get beef Wellingtons. Reinforcement modifier. Three of them. We get ourselves a painting and a thankful dinner. Okay. So lots and lots and lots of stuff here. Some of it's useful. Some of it not so much. Some of, some are things that we haven't gone before, which is pretty cool. I like that all these things back of our inventory yeah lots of interesting things in there all right guys well i've been trying to figure out the next thing that we should do and i kind of feel like we should turn our attention to botania mm -hmm. so we almost have a completely full mana pool i'm trying to fill it up right now uh once that gets full we should be able to make two ingots of terra steel but let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet so in order to make terra steel Yep, in order to make this guy, we need to get ourselves a terrestrial agglomeration plate. This thing? Yeah, a terrestrial agglomeration plate. I can never pronounce that thing right. But in order to get this thing, actually, let's back up once again. Let's put this over here, and then we'll do this. Oops, got to click off there so I'm not in the thing. So I'll bookmark them over here. So we need to make that plate. So in order to make this plate, we have to have all these different rooms. Yeah, water, fire, earth mana and air all of them yeah so in order to make those runes we need to get ourselves a runic altar mm -hmm. so i think that was on our quest if we go into the botania section yeah that is one of the next things for us to do anyway so i think that is where we need to go so in order to make the runic altar we need to get ourselves a rock crystal easy a mana pearl easy and then some living rock easy 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 so pearl we don't whoops yeah, we don't have a mana pearl. Let's go and craft one of those. Let's toss that right in there. All right, so we have the mana pearl, and then we needed a rock crystal. I did stop our thing over here from using all of our crystals earlier, so we have one of these that we can just use. Awesome. I'm trying to split um, this crystal down here, our last good... Um, what is this one called? The celestial crystal. I'm trying to get this one to split so we have extras. Yeah, that's our very last one, so I want to duplicate it anyway uh so we have everything we need in order to make this runic altar oh this has to be done the luminous crafting table all right so we need five of the living rock what do we do for five and all that goes over here on our altar and one of those and then we need our wand okay there we go awesome now, how long is this going to take? Probably not long since it had to use just the first tier altar to craft it. All right, so runic altar, get. We got a quest complete. Very, very good. And then we can come over here and do a thing. 
Now, in order to get mana from the mana pool into the altar to do the crafting, we do need to make ourselves another mana spreader. If we don't have one, we do have one. Awesome. So I'm going to do this. I need the wand of the forest. What? Oh, it's using up, but the mana pool is completely full. I was like, why is it using that? But I'm not hearing the mana doing its thing. All right. So in order to use this, I do need this mana spreader touching the mana pool so it can draw mana out of there. So I'm going to just destroy this flower and we're going to place this guy, I guess right here. I was just going to aim it at it, but now nah, we'll just do it this way. All right. So we do a right click, right click, or is it shift, right click, right click, shift, right click, shift, right click is how you do it. Okay, so since this mana spreader is touching the mana pool, it's drawing mana from the mana pool and putting it into its internal buffer there. So the bar is completely green. And we have that pointed over here at the runic altar. So we should be able to put the correct ingredients on here and then start crafting runes. Now, another thing is, I don't remember if we can make these lenses yet, but we do want, or yeah, we do want these different lenses, the velocity and the potency, I think. Yeah, velocity. So we need a rune of air for that one, and the potency, we need a rune of fire. That'll help speed up how fast this mana spreader sends mana to the runic altar and help speed up everything else. So I need to make myself an additional air and an additional fire in order to do what I want to do here. So let's get rid of that. So let's make the fire. So we need mana steel. Oh, we get two of them. Mana powder, mana steel. So mana powder, mana steel... We have Man of Steel. Let's see, we're gonna need four of those, I believe, for everything. Man of Powder, I don't think we have. So you can put in Redstone, Glowstone, or Gunpowder, if I remember correctly. Just do Gunpowder. Throw that right into there. What just happened? Where'd it go? It went away. Where'd it go? Did it make, did it go into here? Uh, I am very confused on what just happened. I put, the, <laughs> is it because of the thing we have down below? It might be actually. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Get rid of this guy. I think that might be causing the issue. Let's try that again. If I put gunpowder in there, does it work this time? There we go. Okay. So I don't know what the alchemy catalyst was turning that into, but it's turning into something it shouldn't have. So anyway, we have the mana powder, we have the mana steel. Uh, what else do we need here? Nether ward, gunpowder, nether brick. So those items are on there. Mana powder, mana ingots. So now things are happening. All right, and then we do need living rock in order to complete the recipe. So I'll just right click that on there. And then when that's done, we just right click it with the wand. Boom, there we go. So there is our drop pop candy. Rune of Fire. Let me make the rest of these. All right, so to make the mana lenses that we were going to make here in order to speed this process up, we just need to make these mana lenses like so. So that is four mana steel plus a piece of glass. And then we need to combine those with these different runes. So I want the potency, and then I also want the velocity. So both of those combined uh, will be pretty beneficial to us. So we can grab ourselves a slime ball. And I do believe just like that. Um, now, if you want that, you can do it this way. Or if you want it this way, you can do it that way. But either way, that gives us the composite mana lens velocity and potency. So now that we have this guy, we can send faster and a lot more at a time mana into the mana or into the runic altar. So that should make it go faster. So let's try and make ourselves a rune of mana. So that's a mana pearl plus five mana steel. One, two, three, four, five, and a pearl. One of these guys, like so. Okay, so there's that. We'll just drop that on there and all five of these. And yeah, that goes, if not twice as fast, pretty close. Yeah, it might even be faster than twice as fast. That's definitely going a lot faster. But anyway, uh, so there is the living rock and this guy. Cool, there is a rune of mana. Let me make the other ones. So the final thing we need to do is just craft the terrestrial agglomeration plate, this thing right here. Uh, what are we missing? Oh yeah, we're missing the mana steel block. So there is the last of our mana steel. This guy, there's the plate. I just set up the multi-block structure over here. I think that is correct. Pretty sure. 
So in order to do stuff with this, we're going to need to get ourselves sparks, or we could just point this mana spreader at it. And we point that mana spreader at it, it's going to take forever, and like all of our items will probably despawn before it actually crafts. Uh, so we want to make ourselves sparks. And that's probably one of the next quests, I would imagine, if we go into the Botania section. Yeah, we have that available right here. So let's see. We want spark. We want two of these. So that is pretty simple to make. Uh... How many petals we got? Let's use these green ones. It doesn't matter what color, but I just want to make sure we're using the ones we have a lot of. Okay, so there's two sparks. So the way that works, you place a spark on the mana pool spark over here. And when this needs mana, it'll just draw it directly from this spark over to here. And it does it way faster than we can transfer mana otherwise. So we are going to need a few different mana items. So we need iron. We're going to need a pearl. Uh, and I don't remember the rest of that. <laughs> Terra Steel. I've made this so many times in the past, but I just can't remember. Or oh, actually, let's do Botania Mana. Mana Diamond, that's what it is. So we need a diamond. Okay. So all three of these have to be the mana variants. Oops. Let me go ahead and throw that in there. This and this. And I'll put this back on this plate. I should not have accidentally grabbed that. Okay, so we have these different items over here. So we need to, I guess you can just right click them onto the thing or you can drop them on there, whatever you want to do. So we'll do that. It's going to draw mana from our mana pool. It takes half a mana pool worth of mana in order to do this operation. But yeah, that's going to get us Terra Steel. Uh, the more mana pools you have available, the more it can draw from and the faster this process goes. It is kind of slow-ish. With only one mana pool, though. Uh, but yeah, we're just about done. And boom. Our first piece of Terra Steel. Aw, yeah. So that's a pretty good place to be in Botania that we can now make this. Uh, we should be able to make a second one with the amount of mana that we have left in the mana pool. Uh, but we are going to want this to upgrade for like the Elven Portal and the other Botania stuff. Uh, we might even move our Botania area... I was going to use this for Thomcraft, but we might move that over here so we have a more permanent location for it. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode for today. Yeah, we got a lot of the magic mods underway. Uh, Astral Sorcery is pretty much completely taken care of. Blood Magic is getting there. I'm not sure if we're 100% done on that. And yeah, we got Batania to take care of as well. Uh, a lot of the items that we can make from the late game of these uh, different mods are going to be required for the late game of this mod pack. So that's why we're focusing on it. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.